Tighten the drain plug with a new washer. Um, obviously, they're going to supply that washer on that drain plug, which is like a bolt this big. I'll show you. And uh, if you have a torque wrench like me, you're going to be torquing it to 22 to 29 foot pounds of torque. Uh, the actual filter is until you feel resistance and then another turn more than two thirds of a turn. So you're back here and then I'm gonna turn it all the way like right there. If you get how my rotation applied to a two, two thirds of a turn. Maybe if we hit a little underpass, I'm gonna go crazy and give a little verbal I'm in it fit, man. I gave you the information straight out of my um, 2019 manual. Should be the same for all Infinity models, especially the VR30s. Um, I did see though that the rear wheel drive VR30s and the all wheel drive VR30s have a different place for the drain plug. Or actually the filter. So the filter on all wheel drive cars is in the front. The filter on our rear wheel drive car is gonna be on the side, passenger side. All right, guys. So before you do anything, let's make sure to um, get the car up to operating temperatures, which is 180 degrees for your uh, oil and 160 for your coolant. So you can see I got the new headlights. Pretty dope, pretty dope. Let's go turn on the car and um, drive it around a little bit. So we have operating temperatures and then we'll go from there. Let's see what hot tire is gonna flow, Joe. Yeah, sir, let's get this oil change done. Uh, another thing, check how much oil you need in your particular car because different models um, require different capacities. So see capacities at page 10-2 for drain and refill capacity. The drain and refill capacity depends on the oil temperature and drain time. Use these specific specifications for reference only. Let's go to 10 to figure out. We'll draft VR30. You're looking at 5.7 liters without an oil filter change and about six liters, 5.9 to be correct with the oil for it to change. So obviously we have an all wheel drive car and we're changing the oil filter as well. So we're gonna put six quarts in there, six liters in there. Um, 3.78 times two would be 7.56. So I need to put in all but one and 1.5 liters which is hard for me to kind of gauge, but I guess I'll just put around six in there based off how much I have left in here. Be able to read it there. All right, so if you guys have a rear wheel drive car though, it's gonna be around 5.3 um, liters without, with the oil filter change and without, it's the same shit, about 5.3, so. You guys are good. I guess for the all-wheel drive models, we could require a little bit more oil. And as y'all can see, I'm waiting for my fender and my bumper to get replaced. I did get the new headlights already painted and um, installed. You see the Wave uh, logo on, on my low beam bulb. Pretty dope, man. Pretty dope. It's your boy, Hot Tie Chris. Let's get it. Ready, got vibes and they heavy. Vibes. She been petty, stay petty. Got vibes and they ready. Alright guys, so we got the car jacked up here and there. Start draining this fucking oil, man. Boy, sweating out this bitch. God damn. Alright guys, so it's super important that uh, you jack the car up and you make sure the electronic, or, I'm sorry, the mechanical brake is on because you don't want this car to be rolling back or anything like that. Um, super important that you jack the car up because you need to get under the uh, underneath the car. 
to that under shroud so you can get access to the drain plug and the oil filter. Um, you are gonna need a 10 millimeter bolt to get access to the oil filter. And I'll show you that in another take it up on my shit, bro. I want like I want to do the job better than a mechanic can do, but I just want to know that I did it myself, right? So come on guys, y'all, y'all had one job. Like whoever is giving out the information, putting it in the manual, use the same number that you see on that paper underneath my car. Alright? Because I'm trying to do my maintenance to the T. I'm not trying to over tighten my drain, plug my whole oil pan fuck up. Nor am I trying to under tighten it. Just wants to fall out because of so much. Um weight um of oil not in the system in the pan right so that's the joy of the oil drain plug and then right here if we take off these two bolts you see this little section right here this is where the oil filter is gonna go relieve some of the, the airflow pressure shout out to my boy uh jordan castro he's doing his thing um i'm just gonna open that up take the actual dipstick out uh, lay it to the side um, so it can flow out easier. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Shout out to Amps oil, by the way. Best oil to put in your VR30, definitely. Um, my car has a capacity of six liters. So I'll just be putting in a full tank and then I'll leave another one. If we did 3.8, I would do what? Another 2.2, right? So I would leave, if I'm taking out 2.2 of here, I would leave 1.5 here, right here. That's where I should be left with oil because I don't want to over, I just want to put the right amount. All right, let's get it. Um, the oil drain plug is a 14 millimeter bolt. So just so you know, it's a 14 millimeter bolt under there. All right. Where you guys go? Got you. I might, my big ass head might be in the way, but at least y'all, at least y'all, uh, that motherfuckers could see some. This, this, the, this is what I was talking about. These two bolts should give me access to the filter. Obviously, the drain plugs underneath there. Let me make sure I'm going the right way. Right, make sure y'all organize too. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off. Oh, that's a. Hey, that's not easy to get to, my boy. I'm not even gonna cap. That shit is not easy to get to. We'll be alright. Actually, I should be taking this whole shit off. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do, bro. We taking this whole shit off for real, for real. So let's go ahead and get that done. I, I thought they meant just this little part right here. But I guess some boy is talking about the whole shit. Come on. Yes, sir. Hey, man, shout out to Quasi, man. That boy just produced a, 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 a song for Drake. You know what I'm talking about? Look, at him, look him up. Ray Quasi Nelson. It's my best friend, man. That boy out here producing for champagne poppy drake Bobby yo shit we doing numbers now yeah all right Fuck. All right, yeah, so for me, I guess this is the part number for the filter, and it matches the OEM one, so cool. Last time I got my oil changed by Infinity, they told me 10 miles, it's been five. I'm changing on my damn self. So I got the oil drain plug filter, the washer, um, with the new oil filter all right guys you do want to go ahead and make sure you have a wrench to take off that uh oil filter so just make sure you got that um and make sure you got that pan underneath so when you start um to drain you're all set all right let's just took off my oil pan cap oh not looking too bad 
Yeah, but that's looking right. Yeah, not, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. That color's looking pretty good. Um, we're going to check out the oil when it gets out and see what that's talking about, too. But check out this actual dipstick. And this is something you don't have to do. It's just, it's probably better to do. I think this way would be best. Okay, I just broke the tension. Now I should be able to unscrew it myself. I broke the tension already. I'm gonna unscrew it when I'm ready, all right? Don't just break tension and unscrew when you don't, you're not ready. Yeah, so once, once I got it to where I can hand screw it, then I'm fine. Um, I did kind of gauge how how much give it had go very slow because once it comes it's coming yep once that motherfucker come it's coming all right so i got a whole bunch of oil on my hands a little bit of oil on the floor but not too much we're good i'm talking about a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and wipe that up now but yeah that wasn't too bad Put that motherfucker down. And yeah. Oil filter as well. And this is also gonna be giving us a little splash as well. So just be careful and ready. Alright. It's hot. It's definitely hot. It's not crazy hot, but it's hot. Quite a bit of oil coming from this filter, so I, I see why they say fill it up only a certain amount. Cause it's, it's quite a bit coming. But yeah, we'll go ahead and let that drain for a little bit. What a change in a VR30, guys. Go ahead and clean off your oil filter uh, place. Cause when you take it off, it is gonna spill a little bit. So go ahead and just clean that off. Grab the phone for you guys. That's that's draining we're gonna go ahead and look at look how clean my shit is too fam i'm talking about no oil spill we lit good that shit that shit lighter the fuck why drop my almost drop my whole phone in oil bro apple would have been like nah bro don't worry about it so now's a good time for me to take this drain plug and replace that that gasket as you see and then i'm gonna take some oil out of my new oil and lubricate my new filter. Um, my new filter's O-ring, which is literally right here on the top, that little black piece, right inside that metal um, perimeter. Drain is pretty, uh, oil is pretty much, yeah, almost drained. We'll give it another like five minutes just to drip out everything. Um, but yeah, and then I'll give you guys a kind of a diagnose or uh, just a inspection of my oil. Um, after 5,000 miles getting changed by the dealership, all right? Fuck with y'all boys, it's hot tight, Chris. Down, um, that little slot, whatever, I'm gonna pretty much face it down, all right, guys? I'm gonna screw it on there, make sure it goes all the way down. I went ahead and put pu pulled it all the way to the bottom, um, as you can see, just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up now. Um, or at least right after my oil is completely drained. Um, we'll check up on that. Looks like it is all done. Got a little drippy. A little drip, but we're not going to worry about that. Wipe this one time. Wipe that one time. Wipe this another time. And it's still coming out a little bit. Just dripping out, though. All right, guys, so it's been 15 plus minutes. Um, I already put my new filter on. I grabbed my wrench and pretty much tightened it as much as I could. Um, or I hand tightened it as much as I could, then I grabbed my wrench, did like a couple turns. And now, as you can see, got my torque wrench set to in the middle of 20, um, 22 to 29 foot pounds. So right in between, right under 30 
it should be good for me. Um, as you can see, it's foot pounds, not um, NM. And I got it locked up, ready to go. Wipe that off one more time. As you see, it accumulates again, but we'll just go ahead and get it on with our hand. Wipe it one more time. And then quickly grab that plug and plug it up. Plug it up, plug it up, plug it up. Right, and then wipe it off one last time. Make sure your towel doesn't fall in the pan. Right, looks clean, looks clean, looks clean. Right. That don't look clean. Gonna wipe that off one more time. Looking good. Grab this torque wrench and get the torque in. All right, guys. Showing y'all that waste of goddamn, 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 goddamn. 30 minutes. But it's all good if I can help somebody out. Let's get to it. Um. Let me just give it a little more turn. Yeah, yeah. Once once that bitch, once the whole shit start to move, that's when you know, like, nah, chill, fam. Because what you don't want to do is crack this bitch right here. This is straight plastic, fam. This is not aluminum, nothing like that. They could have gave you aluminum for sure, but we're not going to worry about it, all right? We're just going to put it on. Because you don't want it too tight to wear, like, feel me? That bitch could seize up and you can't get it back off. So that's pretty that's pretty much good. Um we're gonna get this undershell back on. Um pour this oil in. Okay. I'm about to say it, boy. Is that where the oil goes, guys? I mean I'm not I'm not really sure. <laughs> but yeah, obviously it is. Alright, let's go ahead and So we still got a quite a bit of ways to go. All right, we're at two liters, so we need about point seventy five liters. being so moderate right now. <laughs> like, if I gotta stop just to check, I'll do some overfill. Okay. We're right at the line, guys. Right at the line. So, check it out. We stopped right there. As you can see, let me get it out of the light. Yeah. Right there. You can see 1.5. If you do your math, 1.5 minus 7.5 is 6. So that should be good. Oh, it was good. Let's check under here for any leaks. Um, we're going to start the car too. Uh, make sure we have no leaks and stuff. But yeah, as far as we got now, oil plugs are good, filters are good. Uh. All right, guys, so there's my oil. See, yeah, I'm gonna dispose that properly. Um, look up under the car and make sure there's no leaks, no leaks, no, it's good, cool, no spill. Either way, put back on your oil cam, oil cap, please, please put that shit back on. Also, put in your dish stick, let the car run for like five, ten minutes, um, especially while you're draining the oil or disposing it the right way. 
just to make sure there's no leaks, make sure the oil can lubricate the whole car. Um, you turn it back off and make sure there's no leaks again. And you're good to go. Put on that uh, under shroud cover and you should be good to go. All right, guys, it's your boy Hot Chris. And the oil change, baby. Let's get it. All right, guys, my under shroud is back on. Good to go. All right, and after you're done, guys, make sure you uh, go ahead and check that dipstick. I'll go ahead and put it down a little bit. So you can see we're right below that H. So we could have put a little bit more, but just to be safe, we're right below that H. And we'll be checking that every thousand miles just to make sure oil, our car's not consuming too much oil. See, right. this is my legacy, they gon' remember me. I know I got it cause the bitch keep begging me Having some motion, I go off the strength of me Speed limit 30 going 60, 70 Pushing that shit, I don't like them ahead of me Got this on lock, I ain't talking no treasure Please don't pretend to be, you not a friend of me I'm the type like they get close to my enemies